Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Tantinis channel and today I'm excited to share my opinion on the new Wilson Blade 100 V9. Actually, this is really hard to find here in Thailand because whoever is the Wilson distributor decided not to bring the 100 in for some reason. So we only have the two string patterns of the 98 and we have the 100L. A little bit of a background. I'm currently looking for uh, a new racket of choice to replace my Blade 98. I'm looking for something with a higher launch angle, um, better spin, better pop and forgiveness, but the same amount of control. And now I have the Percep 100D and T5305 on a short list. And I have hope that this Blade 100 could also make that list because Looking at the spec, uh, it has a 22mm beam, which is thinner than the 100D. And it's a blade, so I think I'm gonna like it. Let's see if it delivers. Okay, the racket I got, this one in particular, is a bit over spec. The swing weight is 324, which is right on the spot that I normally use, but the strong weight is 330 gram with an overgrip and a dampener. So this is equivalent to the 305 gram racket. But I don't think that's going to do anything with the playtest because it's a normal weight that I normally play with. So I would say that this racket fall exactly on the right spot. Uh, I don't think I need to customize it at all. I strung the racket with the restring sink 1.25 at 50 pounds on the main and 48 pounds on the cross. The strung balance is around 32.4 centimeters or 6 points head light. Going on the court, the first thing that comes to my mind holding this racket is that it feels heavier than what it's supposed to be. I think this could be because of the weight distribution. I suspect there's some weight over the handle area at around the throat area and that makes the racket feel hefty and slow. And that is exactly what I feel right away on the first ball. It's slow and not very maneuverable, especially compared to the Blade 98. I mean the Blade 98 is way faster on the take back and on the swing. It can be whippy that I can use my wrist a lot. But this Blade 100 does not share that same characteristic. I think it's a complete different type of racket and it concerns me a bit because what I want is a blade with more forgiveness and pop. But to be honest, this doesn't swing like a blade to me. It feels something like more of a tweener racket that is slow, like an E-Zone 100 or a Peel Arrow 100 or a Speed MP. I even think the Speed MP is even faster than this one despite having a 23mm beam. And my Percep 100D with 23mm beam also faster than this one. So yeah, the Blade 100 feels to be lacking a bit and this is the first strike for me. I mean, I understand that it's a 100 so I cannot expect the same level of maneuverability as the 98, but compared to Pierce, I think it's not better. The feel of the racket, I would say it's stiffer than the 98. Uh, the stiffness on the paper says 60 RA, but I think it's more like a 65 RA. But I understand why they test the stiffness of the racket and it comes out 60. And this is because the throat flexes quite a lot and it has somewhat feels like a spring but the hoop area is very firm so the feel of the string bed is not soft it's definitely stiffer than the 98 in my opinion like when you hit the sweet spot yeah it's plush but when you hit off a little bit toward the hoop it will feel very differently and the second thing that I don't like is that the sweet spot itself doesn't feel like a sweet spot. It feels like 80% of the sweet spot around that area. And I'm not sure if I hit it or not on some shots. Like when you hit 
just a bit off on the side it feels like half shank all the time and I don't like that it doesn't give me the actual pop but it's like half pop half shank so yeah it could be very confusing the string bed feels very responsive to me and the ball gets off very fast what I mean is it doesn't pocket the ball that long you know the blade 98 definitely has more pocketing than the 100 I think this is the most crucial factor that make it doesn't play like a blade um, the string bed is somewhat similar to the radical MP I would say which is not my favorite I find it hard to control when the ball slingshot off the string bed that fast because my swing is more hitting through the ball especially on my backhand that is flat it doesn't feel good to me but on the forehand yeah it was okay but not like ideal but I think many people would like it especially players with modern swing probably not like extended full swing forehand but more of a compact and fast swing on a side note my younger brother plays very well with this racket because i taught him a modern forehand and yeah it suits his swing really good what i like about this racket basically i get more power probably 10 percent 15 percent more not that much so i can rely on that to dominate the point more the serve is also very strong, especially on the first service, and I like it. However, I don't think it gives me that much extra top spin. I mean, it has better spin potential for sure, but access to the spin is the same as the 98 in my opinion, if you like swing the same way. But if you really brush the ball, you intend to hit the top spin ball, then yeah, you can get more spin with the sacrifice sacrifice of the power it's not very balanced on the power and the spin in my opinion on the control i think this racket has great control compared to the control twinner racket it's more demanding and require good contact because the sweet spot is not generous but compared to the blade 98 i think it's a downgrade especially on the depth control I get that feel similar to the Speed MP when you swing out and once in a while it, sl it slingshot the ball out even though you feel like you do everything right. The directional control I think is great though. Especially hitting cross court. On down the line I think it lacks a little bit compared to the 98. Okay so what this racket compared to the Blade 100 V8? I think the major improvement over the last version is the pop. It's easier to play with. I remember that when I play test the Blade 100 V8, uh, I was like, why would I use this racket at all? It doesn't give me anything better than the 98 except for the power, why it's almost as demanding. But on this 100 V9, yeah, I think it's quite easier to play with than the Blade 98, so I'm okay with it. But still, I don't think it suits my game style, so it will not make the list of my racket of choice. I will still choose the Percept 100D over the Blade 100 V9 all day. So who this racket is for? I think it's for the player with modern brown strokes looking for a control frame with a bit more forgiveness and power. I will probably make a comparison video between the Blade 100 V9 and other competitors later, so stay tuned. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and see you in the next video. Bye!